Hey everyone, it's the Four Gun Guy. And today I wanna to do a review on two budget-friendly red dots that Pinty sent to me. Uh, I got an email from them asking, hey, would you, we like the way you do your reviews. Would you like to review some of our products? And I said, sure. You know, if uh, you wanna send them to me, I'll review them, but it's gonna be an honest review. So I thought what we would do today is, let's talk a little bit about uh, why you might go with a budget-friendly optic, or let's stay specifically for red dots. Then I'd like to talk about these two in particular. We'll, uh, I'll do a little unboxing, talk about some of the features that I really do like about these. Then I'm gonna go out into the backyard. We'll look at about 30 yards down range at the fence. And then I wanna compare both of these to my Bushnell TRS-25 and my Hollow Sun, which is a lot more expensive than these. So I'm gonna try to get the camera behind them so we can see through all four of those. Then we're gonna go out to the range. We're gonna shoot these on this PCC, this nine millimeter PCC, and then we'll have some final thoughts. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. Let's talk about origin of manufacture. These are made in China. They are shipped into the United States and Pinty is out of Southern California. Um, now, a lot of other red dots, most of your brand name red dots, and I'll give you a little project. Go out and look at Bushnell, uh, Burris, Vortex, um, that hollow sun, all their red dots are made in China. So a lot of equipment is coming in from China. And I like the idea, again, as I just said, if you're just starting out in this, let's try to find something that's gonna last a little bit. And maybe we're just using these for plinking. These may not be our competition optics. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I've done most of the video already. I'm gonna tell you right now, I put these on a competition rifle for me. Uh, I'm not gonna be a national champion, but for something to just go out and have fun shooting in a competition. I think especially in the beginning of that journey, I don't think there'd be anything wrong putting either one of these on a PCC or putting something like this on my pistol. So I just wanted to uh, talk to that uh, for a minute. Let's do this. Let's now go to the unboxing and look at what comes in the box and let's look at some of the functionality and the features that these have. Let's take a look at what we get in the package here. We get the, of course, the red dot itself. Uh, we get the cover, which is really nice. I mean, this cover really holds tightly onto this, this red dot. And um, you've got to pretty, pretty much work to get that thing off of there, which I like. Uh, this is not going to fall off during a competition or something like that. You get two tools. Uh, one is for the picatinny mount. The other one is for the elevation and windage adjustment. You get a pretty nice little carrying case here, too. This thing's pretty padded, and uh, it locks. So uh, that was kind of a nice feature that I liked. And then an extra battery. One comes with it, uh, but you're probably going to want to replace that one because the one that came with this was a little weak, so I put a brand-new battery in there, and it, it looks like it's doing uh, doing really good. Now, let's take a look at an initial look at the functionality. So again, we have five or six, I think it's six brightness settings on here. So I can go plus or minus to turn it on. I just hold the plus down to turn it off. I hold the minus down, uh, the illumination buttons. I've got the elevation adjustment. And I have to say, these are nice tactile clicks they're not they're not too mushy and they're pretty nice and tactile the battery compartment i really like this you just pull this out it just pulls out you replace the battery and you put it back in i don't have to and be careful of this because in some of these things you have to take this off the mount to replace the battery so be careful of that and in others you have a screw on attachment up or cover up here that you have to unscrew and then you're going to drop that. You're going to put the battery in, try to screw that thing back on. 
this is just as simple as you can get it. You grab this, you pull it out, you put it back in. I'm not going to do it because I have it on. <coughs> Excuse me. And from the build perspective, everything here is aluminum. So this is all solid aluminum. There's no plastic on this thing whatsoever. The uh, glass looks pretty darn clear to me. And if I can look at that red dot, let's see if I can even get an image of that in here. There it is. That's a 3MOA dot. And uh, that's pretty darn clear. Now, I'd like to get some shots at the outside. And let's see if we can do that real quick. All right, guys, this is the Pinty. And <laughs> I, I have to tell you, and look, this is not because they gave me this thing. But this dot on this is a lot brighter than the hollow sun. And I have to tell you that it is easy to stay behind this thing. It's not difficult. Now, the hollow sun's easy to stay behind as well. So do not get me wrong. But, but I'm telling you what, with both eyes open, I'm able to stay right behind this thing. And... Uh, with both eyes open. So I, I got to tell you, I'm very impressed with how bright this dot is in the bright sunlight here. It's a little overcast. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's still really bright out here. All right, well, let's talk about this uh, Pinty Red Dot site. Now, this is their 1x20 Red Dot site. Now, the thing I like about this is it comes with a lot of stuff in the box. We've got the padded case, which is similar to the other uh, Red Dot site that I have reviewed or will review. It's got a very simple set of instructions. Um, you know, again, there's, there's not much to know about operation of a Red Dot site. I don't need a 30 page manual. It comes with an adjustment tool that uh, is going to help you uh, uh, mount this co-witness riser uh, that goes on a Picatinny or wheel weaver uh, rail. It's got a nice uh, lens cap here. And then of course we have the optic itself. Now let's just talk about a few things here. Uh, battery case. It doesn't come with a tool for your battery case, so don't worry about that because it's got the knurled edges here. So all you're going to do is unscrew that. The battery goes in there. I can feel the uh, gasket in this uh, cover. Everything, as a matter of fact, has a gasket on it. Now here's another cool kind of feature that I liked when I when I looked at this. When I was looking at these caps, these elevation and windage caps. This is windage. This is elevation. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, they've got this thing on top. I wonder what that's for. Well, guys, you don't need any tools with this. And this is a really neat innovation. They have the screwdriver piece, the flathead, built into this cap. But when you're adjusting things, this just goes in the adjustment. And the clicks are very tactile. Very tactile. And then the cap just goes back on. And you've got your tool right there on the cap. The whole thing is machined very well. There's no sticking. There's no uh, hanging up or anything like that. It's all one unit and it's aluminum construction. So very well built. It has 11 uh, powers of magnification on it. And on the 11th power, this thing's pretty darn bright. I don't know if I'll be able to get it in here, but let's see if we can. There it is. That's a 3MOA dot. And again, my focus is kind of not going to be on, but you can see that's a 3MOA dot. Um, the glass on this is very good, you know, no hassles there. And then it's got this mount. Now, this riser uh, is, is a co-witness riser, which means when you put this on your, say, AR, or maybe you're putting it on a PCC or something like that, this riser is 0.83 inches, which... I'm assuming they've figured is a really good co-witness height for your uh, iron uh, sights. So this comes with it. And again, guys, this, this whole thing's $39. Um, and, and I have to tell you, it, it feels like it's built very well. Let's go outside and see if we can get some views through this in the bright sunlight and see how that dot holds up. 
Now I'm hoping this is showing up well. I'm trying to focus here, but you can see that I've co-witnessed the red dot with the iron sight. Uh, and that's what this riser does for you. It allows you to do that. Now it's a 0.83 inch riser. And honestly, if you even got a one inch riser, I know they make one with a one inch riser, you could probably get to a one third co-witness. The thing with the 0.83 riser is it really does let you exactly co-witness <laughs> with your iron sights if that if that makes sense. You can then literally put the dot on the top of your uh, front sight, which is really what I like to do if I'm going to co-witness. So anyway, I hope you can see that. And again, it's going to be a little off because of the, the way the phone is and, and all of that stuff. All right, well, I'm at the range, and it's a range of uh, one of my buddies and his wife, uh, Larry and Beth, and I really appreciate them letting me use this. Uh, it's closer to the house, and today with gas the way it is, it's nice to be closer. Anyway, we're going to start with the uh, tube red dot on here, but I wanted to say the very first thing that I do whenever I get out something that I haven't used in a while, and I have not shot this PCC in a while, is... I do the takedown pin. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to bring out this bolt and I'm going to look down the barrel and I'm going to make sure there's nothing in that barrel because you never know whether it's, uh, you know, when you were storing it or you last cleaned it, you left something in there. And so now I'm going to put this back together uh, with the confidence that uh, everything's clear. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some rough sight in work. And I'm using the 10 yard method here, which uh, I think I might do a video on that. There's a lot of them out there, but I've wanted to do one on that. Uh, it works for red dots, but I want to make sure that it'll also work and it should work with my center fire scopes when I mount those. So let me get some sight in shots and then we'll go out there and we'll just shoot up some stuff. All right, well, I'm back a little ways. I've got it somewhat zeroed. We're going to send some rounds down range. I'm going to try to send about 15 rounds, then we're going to recheck zero to see if everything holds up. So let's go ahead and do that. A pretty good little group. I'm probably eh, 15, 10 yards, 12 yards away. And a nice little group there. Now let's see how it held at zero. All right, well that group uh, in that uh, top target is the group we just shot. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the red dot on the, right where the tape is in the center there. Right there in the center, and we're gonna see how this held. Rack around first. That looks like that uh, held pretty good. All right, we're gonna do the same test now with this open reflex uh, red dot. I've got this thing pretty much sighted in, and uh, let's see what we can do here. Another pretty good group there. Now let's see if she held her zero. All right, well that group that's in between the two big targets is the group we just shot with the open reflex sight. And now I'm gonna see, let's put this on that lone little dot off to the left of that top target. So let's see here. Yeah. 
Just like that held it uh, pretty darn good. Well, hey, I want to thank Pinty for sending me these two red dots. Let's go down the list of a couple of what we saw. Uh, honestly, the build quality of these is excellent. All aluminum construction. The glass in them is very clear. The red dots are very bright, uh, even in direct sunlight. Took them out to the range, zeroed them in. Didn't take long to do that. The clicks for zeroing are very tactile in both of these. And they have these features that I liked, right? This one had the built-in screwdriver on the caps for elevation and windage. This one has this cover that is not coming off of here, which is very, very helpful when you're out in the field. So yeah, both of these uh, did very well, even as compared to more expensive options. So with the construction, the glass, the red dot, yes, Pinty, I think you've done a good job with these. I would have no hesitation putting them on my 9mm PCC, my AR-15, uh, even for competition. If I was just getting started, and even if I wasn't, if, as long as they're going to last, I'm going to be a happy camper. Price point is excellent, $30 and $60 respectively. You can't beat that. So if you want something to just throw on, on a new build and to play around with it, maybe you're getting your child into the shooting sport, uh, your son or your daughter, and you don't want to spend a lot of money because you know how they can beat things up, throw one of these on there. Let them learn with these. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I've got some other stuff coming up, as you can see below. And until next time, shoot straight.